All right, once again, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our science class. So this afternoon, we will continue with chapter three. Okay, so class for those who has their book, you can open on page number 36. If you have your science textbook, open on page number 36. All right, let me share the page for you. Hold on. Again, open your science textbook on page number 36. Three, six. Again, open your science textbook on page number 36. All right, so this afternoon class, we will learn how heat change materials, okay? So for this experiment, there are only two materials, all right? So we have a frozen block of butter and we have a plate. All right, so there are two materials again, frozen block of butter. So butter, the block, the block of butter, and then a plate. So here's the step for the experiment. Later, I will show you a video, okay? So I'm gonna read it first. Number one, put a block of butter onto a plate. And then step number two, leave the plate out on a table. And then number three, observe what happens to the butter after one hour. Okay, so in this experiment class, they are, they're using a butter. So they put the butter on a plate and then after that, they leave the plate on a table and then observe what happens to the butter after one hour. Okay, so let me show you a video about this experiment. Just give me one second. Okay, so this video is like similar to the one that we have in our book. So watch and listen. Butter, do you know butter? So the yellow one here, this is the butter, and then the plate, and then the plate are uh, put um, in a very hot surface. All right, so observe the butter, what will happen? What happened to the butter class? What happened to the butter? What happened to the butter? Is it soft or is it hard? Is it soft now or is it hard? Are you sure? First is, yeah. first is the butter here is hard. And then when the, when the butter put on a plate in a hot surface, the butter becomes soft. Again, from hard to soft. One more time, I'm gonna play the video. Ah! Here. The butter slowly becomes soft and it's melting right now.
We're slowly milking. All right, so what happened to the butter is that from solid, it became liquid because of the heat. Do you understand class? So when the butter put on a hot surface, the butter melted and it becomes softer and it become a liquid. So there is, there is a changes on the shape of the butter. Now let's go back to your book. All right, so there is a question here, class. Tam Leung, um, can you read this part? The frozen broth of butter is soft after baking left on the table for one hour it became hot mm, no so here the frozen block of butter so if we put the butter in the freezer it became hard okay under that circle circle the word hard circle the word hard And then after being left on the table for one hour, it became, is it, it became soft or it became hard? What do you think? Soft. Soft, okay. So again, if you put the butter in the freezer, the butter will become hard. And if you put the butter outside, on a table and if you leave there for one hour the butter became soft okay so from hard to soft because of heat run heat okay now let's proceed to this one we have a paper so when paper is burned wait hold on let me circle this or hold on all right, so when paper is burned, it turns into black ashes. So imagine class, if you have a fire and if you have a pencil or let's say candle, and then if you burn the paper, what happened to the paper? What happened to the paper? It burned. It burned and it became into Black ashes. Okay, very good. So when you burn the paper, it will turn into black ashes. So here, you see that? Again, if you burn the paper, the color is white. Am I? The color of the paper is white. But if you burn it, the paper will become color black and it will become also one ashes. So that's what it's called black ashes. Understand? Yes, I know. Do you understand? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. Now turn your book to page number 37. All right, so. Ushi, can you read this part? Heat can cause material to expand a metal ball. Can plus to a ring after it is hot. Heated. It heated. It expand. The heated metal ball become too big, 
to pass to the link. Okay, so I'm gonna read one more time. Heat can cause materials to expand. When you say expand, it will be it will become bigger. Okay, from small it will become bigger. So for example, this one. So this is a ring. Okay, ring. And then we have the ball. So when the ball or, or when you put the ball or when you let the ball pass through the ring, may die. You cannot do it because the ball is bigger than the ring. But if you use heat, if you use heat to the ball, then the ball will perfectly fit to the ring. Okay, so a metal ball can pass through a ring after it's heated, it expands. So the heated metal ball becomes too big to pass through the ring. So when you hit the ball, then there's a tendency that the ball will pass through the ring because the ball extend, okay? It expand. So when we hit, uh, let's proceed to the next one. So when we hit ice here, when we hit ice, it can melt to become water. When we hit water, it can boil to become a steam. So class, for example, you have ice, Minam King, and then you put a heat or you put the ice outside under the heat of the sun. So the ice will become liquid, okay? So the ice is solid, but if you put outside or if you apply heat, then the ice will become liquid. It will melt. And then when you heat the water, the water will, will boil. And then when you boil the water, there will be a steam coming out. Um, let me see if I can find an example here. Okay, here. You see? So this is ice, right? So ice, is it hard or soft? The ice, is it hard or is it soft? Hi. Hard, okay. Hard. And then when you apply heat, the water will become, or the ice will become water. It will become liquid. Liquid, L-I-Q-U-I-D, just like this one, liquid, substance. So again, if you put heat or if the heat applied to the ice, it will become water or liquid. And then if you put heat on the water, just like this, if you boil the water, then the water will produce a steam or air, okay? It will produce a steam. So this one is steam, the smoke over here. Now let's try to answer this one. Tick the statements that are true. Number one, um, let me, Pan Pan, can you read number one? Pan Pan Big. Of chocolates. Melts. Melts when. <laughs> Placed. Placed under the sun. Okay. So for example, if you have chocolate and if you melt when placed under the sun, is it true or is it false? Melt, kaujai mai, and in melts, kaujai mai. 
Do you understand this word? No? Okay. Uh, let me try to use Google Translate here. One second. So glass melt is, let me play it. La lai. La lai. La lai. Oh, Jemai, do you understand what is melt now? Okay. 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 So again, the question here or the statement here, me chocolate, Jemai, have chocolate bar, melts when placed under the sun. Any true or not true? Is it true or not true? Number one, me chocolate bar, melt. True. true, so you take, you check number one. You take number one. All right, number two, uh, Mukmai. Can you read number two, Mukmai? When water boils, boils, it boils, boils, it boils, it become ice. All right. So when you boil the water, it became ice or no? All right. Let me translate this again. When you boil the water, it becomes ice? Yes or no? No. 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 Okay, so do not take. And number three. Um, number three, let me call Ivy. When wood is burned. Burned. It turns, turns black. Okay, when you burn the wood, does it turns to color black? Yes or no? Yes. No. When you burn the wood, what is the color after? Yes. Yes, so you check number three. So number one and number three are a true statement. All right, now turn your book to page number 38. All right, so on page number 38, how does cooling change the material? Okay, so in this lesson or in this topic, what will happen to the material if you put them in a cold place? So let us read this one. Um, Pin. Pin, can you read this part? Materials may change, change when cool. cool cooling can cause cause materials to change from one from two another Jelly. Mixture. Mixture. Hardens. Hardens. When cooled. Okay, thank you very much. So I'm going to read one more time now. Materials may change when cold. Cooling can cause materials to change from one form to another. 
Example, we have a jelly. You see the jelly here? You see the jelly. What will happen if you put the jelly in the freezer? What will happen if you put the jelly in the freezer? So the jelly will become solid. It will become harder. It will become hard. So the jelly will become hard. So from soft, it will become hard when you put inside the freezer. Um, what will happen if you put the water in the freezer? What will happen, class, if you put the water in the freezer? What will happen? What happened to the water if you put the water inside the freezer? Cool. It will become ice, Chemai. It will become ice. It will become harder. It will become solid. All right, so just like the jelly. All right, so most materials contract when they are cold. So for example, this one, you see, when the colored water is cold by the ice cubes, it contracts and takes up less space. So this causes the colored water to move down the glass tube. So if you see when the colored water is cooled by ice cube, it contracts and takes up less space. Kaujaimai. <laughs> I know it's very difficult, but it's okay. That's fine. Okay, now turn your book to, oh, it's the same page class. So look at this one. This is what I'm telling you earlier. So when you put the water here and then you place this inside the freezer, so the water will become ice. You see that? So again, if you put or if you place the water in the freezer, it will become ice just like this. And another one. What happened when you place a metal spoon above the spout of a kettle? So look at this. So you put the spoon above the spout of a kettle. So there is a steam condenses on the cold surface of the ladle to form water droplets. So if you put the spoon here, me water, have water here on the spoon. So the water in the spoon are the steam. So there is water over here. Me water. All right, now let's try to answer this one. Um, page number 39. Circle the correct answer for number one. Let's try to answer this. Most materials expand or contract when cold? What do you think? Is it expand or contract? Expand or contract? The answer is expand. All right, so number two. You circle, you circle the word expand, you circle. Number two, when liquid is cold, it takes up less or more space. What do you think? When the water, for example, when the water is cold, it takes up less or more space? More. No, it takes less space. So circle the letter, oh, the word less, L E double -S, S. All right, number three. 
water blank to become ice. Freezes or condenses? Freezes. Freezes. Very good. Freezes. And number four, steam. Freezes or condenses? It changes from a gas to liquid. Condenses. 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 Very good. All right, so for number one, expand. Number two, less. Number three, freezes. Number four, condenses. Okay, now let's proceed to the next topic. How do changes in materials affect us? So we have a two pictures here. We have chicken, uncooked chicken, uncooked cow jai mai, uncooked chicken, and cooked chicken so this one is not yet cooked this one is cooked leo i mean not yet so let me read this heat allows food to be cooked this makes food safe to eat when uncooked meat such as chicken is cooked the color of its flesh changes from pink to white this allow us to tell if the chicken is fully cooked so class in the first picture, what color of the chicken here? What color? Pink. 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 OK, so the color of the chicken is color pink. But if you cook, if you cook the chicken, the color will become what? White. 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 OK, so that's the different class. If you cook the chicken, the color of the chicken will become white. But if you did not cook the chicken, the color of the chicken is pink. So if it's color white, then you can eat. If it's color pink, you cannot eat my gin. My dai gin. If it's white, you can eat. Kaujemai, do you understand? Okay. So if it's color pink, can you eat this one? Yes or no? No. No, but if it's white? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. All right, now turn your book to page number 40. Number 40, so we have two pictures here so we have number one and hold on number one and number two so here cooling allows us to make cold treats so for example this one it's a strawberry ice cream so when you put this inside the fridge it will become solid it will become popsicle. So from fruit juices, just like the water, if you put this inside the freezer, it will become popsicles. So you can eat. And then here we have three picture, picture one, picture number two, and picture number three. All right, so here, metals melt when they are heated to high temperatures. When cold metals in liquid form into solid form. So here, metals. So when you heat the metals, it will become liquid, okay? And then if you let the metal cold, it will become solid. Again, if the metals are melted, it will become liquid, just like this. And if you cold the metal, it will become solid and it will turn like this if you have a template or mold. Do you understand this one? If you hit or if you Heated the metals, it will become liquid na. Metals, it will become liquid. 
And then if the metals are being cold, it will become solid, hard. All right, now let's proceed to the next one. All right, um, let me call someone to, okay, Champu, can you read this part? The liquid in a thermometer. Thermometer. Thermometer moves when the temperature 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 allow it changes. Changes. This allows, this allows us to measure temperature. Okay, so I'm going to read one more time now. The liquid in a thermometer moves when the temperature around it changes. So this allow us to measure the temperature. So class, thermometer, Kaujai Mai. So this is a thermometer. So this is the thermometer. When you're when you have fever, when you feel sick, if you have fever, we use thermometer to check our temperature now. So if there is a changes in the water inside this container. If there are changes inside this container, the temperature or the thermometer moves. It could be moved up or it could be moved down. So if it's too hot, if the water or if the liquid is hot, the thermometer moves up. And if the water is cold, the thermometer moves down okay so again if we have hot water or hot liquid inside the container the thermometer moves up but if we have cold water or cold liquid in the container the thermometer moves down okay all right. <laughs> Next, page number 41. In page number 41 class, when plastic, plastic melts, toxic substances are released into the air. Breathing in these substances can make us ill. So if you burn a plastic or if you melt a plastic, there is a toxic substance. There is a smoke coming from the plastic. So I advise not to burn or not uh, melt the plastic because it's dangerous to our health. So when we breathe, the air is very toxic. The air is not good to inhale. So do not, Animidaina, do not burn the plastic. And here, extreme temperature changes can cause cracks to form in concrete pavements. So class, if it's too hot, Ron Mak Mak, if it's too hot, it will cause a crack. You see that? So it will cause crack from the concrete. Or for example, um, if the weather is very hot, so there are some instances that the wall broke or the wall breaks. So this is an example. All right, now let's try to take the statement if it's true or not. So for number one, cooking 
uses heat to make food safe to eat. Is it true or not true? Cooking uses heat. True. true. Okay, so you take that one. You take. All right, now what about number two? The liquid thermometer changes color when the temperature around it changes. So when the um, thermometer or the liquid in a thermometer changes color, when the temperature around it changes, is it true or not true? So here it's not true, okay? So do not take number two. Number three. Metal melts when it is heated to very high temperature. So when you heat the metal class using a very high temperature, does it melt? Is it true or is it not true? <laughs> so this one is true. So you take that. And then for number four and number five, this one is not true. So it's fine, do not take that. So take number one and take number three. Okay, now turn your book to the last page, second to the last page, page number 44. So fill in the blanks with the correct words. So we have number one, two, three, four, and five. So I will give you a hint. So for number one starts with letter L. Number two starts with letter S. Number three starts with letter B. Number four starts with letter F. Number five starts with letter T. And then H and then E. I'm gonna add another letters in number four. R and E. Oh, hold on. Teacher, may I go to the toilet, Pete? Yes, you may. All right, so class, I will give you five minutes na Anati. Knees on mine. Hmm. L is here. The first letter is L. I'm here. L E A. Oh, here. S T R.
do you find the word here? Am I? I mean, number five. Number five. Number five here. Write the letter. Number five. <laughs> Okay, number four. Are you done? Number Finish. I'm finished. Okay, very good, Hushi.
Keisha, may I go to the toilet, please? Yes, you may. Okay, very good, Richard. Yeah, I'm done. Very good, Pot. All right, class, three minutes. I oh, know, two minutes more, two minutes. One minute. I'm done. Very good, I'm learning. Okay, time is okay, time is up. Okay, so who would like to answer for number one? What is the missing word? Blank is made from animal skin. Who would like to answer number one? Anyone? Raise your hand. Okay, Richard. What's number one? Leather. Okay, how do you spell it? Leather. Leather. How do you spell it? L E A T H E R. Okay, very good. So number one is leather. Very good, Richard. So leather is made from animal skin. Okay, very good. Number two. Number two, who would like to answer number two? Anyone? Me, Mukmai, teacher. Okay, Mukmai, what is number two? Strong. How do you spell it? S-T-R-O-N-G. Okay, very good. So number two is strong. Very good. Number three. Me, Hoshi. Okay, Hoshi, what is number three? Brick. How do you spell it? B. R. I. C. K. S. Okay, so for number three, it's bricks. Number four. Pan pan. Pan pan number four. Please, sir. How do you spell it? F A double E plus E S. Very good. So number four is freezes. So when water freezes, it becomes ice. And number five. Teacher, may I go to the toilet, please? Yes, you may. Number five. Me, Hoshi. Okay, Hoshi again. What's number five? Thermometer. 
How do you spell it? T H E R N O M E T E R. Okay, very good. So number five is thermometer. All right. Who got five? Me five, mine? Pan pan big. Okay, very good. Who else? Mukmai, very good. Okay, Tamlin, Kushi. What? Okay, so kids, that's all for today and for your homework na homework. Um, I will post it in Google Classroom because most of you doesn't have or did not get the workbook yet. So I will post the homework in Google Classroom. All right, so that's all for today, class. Thank you, students. Thank you, Tisha. Tisha. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh.